waking up to ash and dust I wipe my brow and I sweat my rust I'm breathing in the chemicals Hello everybody, this is Juniper Gaming here. I am Josh L. I'm Kyle. And I'm Josh K. And uh, we are here and uh, we have for you our Q&A video for our 200th uh, subscriber special. And uh, with that, uh, we're each just going to give a quick little, uh, little mini speech, just, you know, our thoughts on 200 subscribers, you know. And uh, I guess I'll start just, I want to thank you guys so much for uh, 200 subscribers. We're at 202 now. And um, you guys have just shown a lot of support for us, and um, I know that we do a ton of series on the channel. I know a lot of you watch multiple series, and I just want to thank you so much. This channel has been great for me, and uh, for Kyle and Josh K, and um, for all of us, just thank you very much. Uh, Josh K, you want to go next? Uh, sure. Uh, I I came here when the uh, channel first started out. I was not in it for the whole time. I don't know if you knew that or didn't, but I am still very happy to be part of this channel. It really grew into something with the thanks of uh, Sports Gaming Universe, of Definitely. course. Definitely. Motofo 16, MB Wallcat 2, and yes. shout outs later on as well. Being and, uh, a part those of. Those guys really helped, and I, I really just, I'm really grateful to be part of such a great channel here on uh, YouTube. Definitely. Callie, you want to say. My thoughts? Being a part of the Let's Play community has definitely been a great experience for me, and I look forward to continuing it yeah, and definitely. growing more and more. Definitely, uh, definitely proud to have this channel. 202 subscribers right now, over 200. Definitely, I'm uh, gonna have a lot more milestones coming up, and uh, we'll do different Q and A's and stuff. And a uh, side note, I'm actually a uh, thank you to my intern Corbin. He actually hooked me up. Uh, Josh, you don't know this yet, though. Um, he showed me a way to get live stream on YouTube, and I'll be unlocking it in about a day or two. So, uh, thank you so much to Corbin. And, uh, with that, we'll move into the Q&A. So, uh, the first question. This one is for you, Kyle. It's from 2 Clutch Gaming. He asks, will Kyle ever play a sports game? As far as sports games go, I'm, I'm pretty new to commenting sports, though. It is kind of fun when I do it. It went to Blue Moon, though. As for right now, I'm probably not going to be doing it. Yeah, definitely, uh, you know, you see a couple games every now and then with Kyle and them. Though, uh, maybe we'll think about doing some type of rivalry in the future, maybe with Kyle, though. Uh, we'll see how that pans out. Uh, so this next one is for me. Um, this is kind of like a joke one, but I'm still going to read it. Will you ever forgive us for our Skype calls, Josh L., that's from BWalkat 2? No, I will never... No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I, I, that's that's kind of like a joke question. Thank you for that, and uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'll forgive you guys. You, you're all right. <laughs> Next one is from Ben Mindek for all of us. What is your favorite sports game? Josh, you can start. Um, my favorite sports game. Uh, ooh, that's a tough one. We sport you know, no. <laughs> I I'm I'm gonna have to go and say Madden. I'm gonna I'm not gonna say which particular one. I'm saying abroad because we didn't really do much with Madden 13 on this channel, and uh, you could say we didn't do much for Madden 12 on this channel either. But I just like Madden in general. I'm a big football guy, and uh, that's what I love. That's what I do. So, Kyle? That. I don't play sports once much, so here's my extremely lame answer. It will be the show 13. <laughs> yeah, I would also have to say MLB 13, the show. Um, I, I mean, the only games I've really played are MLB, the show, and that series with the occasional Madden, which I haven't really played too much. So, I mean, I, I can give a little more elaborate answer than Kyle. I just love the MLB uh, The Show series ever since um, I started liking baseball. And it was in 2010 when I got MLB 10 The Show. I've been a big fan since. You saw I got in a bunch of shipments. Recently, I completed my MLB The Show uh, collection and big fan of the series. Love it. A lot of fun. And it was funny. I actually asked someone at GameStop in 2010 when I got uh, MLB 10 The Show. I'm like, well, I know that there's MLB 2K and then there's The Show. And I'm like, oh, wait a second, I just got a last minute question, I believe. Um, yeah, we got a last minute question from B Wildcat 2. I asked uh, if there are any other last minute questions. Though, anyway, uh, he said that 2K is uh, kind of just going down the slopes and MLB The Show is on the rise, and boy, were they right. So, that is my favorite game to play. Uh, that is sports game. Next one is from B Wildcat 2. Favorite retro game to play? Josh K. Retro game, huh? 
Uh, well, I really haven't played any retro games, and the only... Do you count uh, Mario, the the Super Mario thing? Is that retro? What know. Super Mario? The uh, new Super Mario Bros, is that... Uh, yeah. for the, not, not the Wii, but I guess you can stretch it for the DS. Uh, well, I, I, I played that, you know, like, when I was really young, so... But I guess only one I've had actually a taste of was, uh, what was that, uh... Was it Hit and Run, was it? Yeah. Road think, Rage, yeah. maybe. Oh, Road Rage. It was Road Rage. Yeah, yeah so that's the, the retro game I like. By the way, anybody uh, that's watching this, um, I did not think... Uh, we did not uh, think the que- uh, the answers to these. We're just answering these somewhat blind. Like, I saw the questions, though. We're all answering these kind of just, like, first thoughts. Cal, favorite retro game to play? I don't play many much retro retro games, though. I have to say it's kind of tied between uh, Super Mario Brothers for the DS and Hit and Run. Yeah, I... I I know that there are going to be people that might comment, you know, those are not retro games. And, you know, they really aren't. I know retro is more 80s and 90s, though. You know, we're talking about old for us. That's how we're uh, qualifying them as. Uh, For me, I would probably have to say um, Crash Bandicoot for the PS1. That's more of a retro game. I did have a lot to play of it. I did unofficially stop it. I could continue it right now if I want to, which, you know, there's still some lingering thoughts of. It's a really fun game. It's just not my cup of tea in terms of the saving policy. But the overall game is a fun game, you know? Um, well, the next one from MySora99. Uh, this is for all of us. What is your guys' favorite MLB teams? Josh? Oh, uh, well, I guess uh, I'm a Yankee fan, so I guess I'll have to say the Yankees. Kyle? Uh, I would say Yankees, though. One of the other teams that I kind of randomly like are the Dodgers. It sounds weird, though. Ever since that big mega trade, well, actually. Fair weather fan. <laughs> Fair weather fan. <laughs> Are you drinking yeah, I can't talk baseball. <laughs> yeah, he. This is Kyle and his. Um. Oh, they just spent millions and millions and millions of billions of dollars. Cool. Let me be a fan of them. Yeah, Yankees. That's no surprise. We're pretty much roundtable Yankees. So that's that. And now uh, we'll move on to the Twitter questions. We'll move on to this one. Um. Oh, this one is actually. Um. One that I was going to throw in that I was about to forget. Um, this one is coming from BeWildcat2. And um, I've been getting this as questions, just not for the Q&A, just in general. Are you doing this? Um, are you guys going to have NCAA 14 on JG? I'm not going to answer this one. Uh, it's not addressed to anyone specifically. Um, and I'll let Josh answer this, too, because, uh, you know, he's the football guy. NCAA, that's college, right? Well, yes. <laughs> I'm not really so much into college football, so I'd have to go with no on that one. I know that you can transfer the college draft classes onto Madden 25, but I'm still not going to do it because uh, that would be a waste of money for me uh, as of right now. Yes, it's definitely an investment, and I, it, especially for me. I mean, if it would be a person that would get it, it would be Josh, and um, we're not getting it. Uh, excuse me. Um... So that's that question. Um, next question. This is kind of similar to the uh, the last one. It's from Orleans Operator. Question. Are you going to try... Uh, I'm going to say this is for me and you, Josh. Um, are you going to try some new things and get Madden 25 or other new sports games? Josh, answer the question about Madden 25. Well... Yes, we're going to get Madden 25, and on uh, that one specifically, I think we're going to try and get going a uh, connected franchise, I believe that's what it is called this year, and uh, I guess that's uh, the owner mode, and maybe get a player mode going on there, and uh, maybe a few live streams of that, just gameplay, online play, you know, things like that. Anything to add, Josh? Yes, um, in terms of other new sports, they said, are you going to try some uh, some new things? Um, I guess the closest to a new thing is um, either A, going back and doing the retro games, uh, not retro, but the older baseball games that I got, or um, trying out the NCAA, the MVP baseball for NCAA, uh, that was in 06. I guess that's something kind of new, but um, it's still baseball. New sports games, I love baseball. Football, I'm more of a fair weather fan of. Josh is kind of reversed. He's a big football fan, and he's kind of not a fair... He's more of a fair weather fan of baseball, just uh, not a huge fan. Um, I don't like basketball, really. Josh is kind of like uh, likes basketball, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I just watch it here and there, not really. Yeah, and then and then hockey's just kind of out of the question for us, you know what I mean? You can, if you want to really twist my arm, you can maybe make me play 
uh, NBA 2K, but I mean, I just don't know any mechanics about basketball. I'm not sure if uh, Josh knows much, but I know that I don't know basketball at all, so probably not. Um, I won't be moving in that direction too much. Uh, sorry if that disappoints you, though. Baseball and football, predominantly baseball, are the sports that we're going to be having. Um, so, yeah. Uh, next question from 2 Clutch Gaming. Uh, this one, uh, this pretty much goes with a double O's question. Will you ever play a sports video game that's not baseball? Um, actually, no, I think this one's a little bit different. This one's to me, I believe, because I'm just assuming that. Um, similar to the question that he had for Kyle. Will I ever play a game that's not baseball? In terms of a full-fledged series, no. In terms of a lot... Mm, excuse me. In terms of a live stream series, I did have that Madden 12 Derek Lloyd Superstar mode. I am looking maybe in Madden 25 or in the future, maybe with Madden 2005, which I have. Maybe I can uh, just, you know, get my feet wet and maybe do a live stream series, like a mini series. Though in terms of a full fledged series, I would not count on it. Like I said, the NCAA uh, Baseball 06 would be the one exception, if you'd want to call it that. And also, I think we actually do happen to have some PS2 Need for Speed games. Yes, we do have some of that, but that's not really a sport. I guess you could stretch it, though. Um, not exactly. Um, next one is from Jake Elliman, the DJ Stout on YouTube. How did you find me? LOL, that's my question. Very good. Um, just through B-Wallcat 2, pretty much, you know. Just through tweets and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and last question. I saved this one for last. It is from my very own intern, um, I don't have the exact question because it's all the way down on my Twitter feed. Uh, yeah, I could try to find it, though. I'm not even going to bother. Um, though, the question pretty much was, who or what inspired you to do YouTube? So I'm going to go, um, even though this one was addressed to me, I'm going to go around the table and kind of just, this is almost like a closing thought type of thing. And what makes us keep doing YouTube? What inspired us what got us into youtube what was our first channel that we watched stuff like that so that's what we're going to be doing josh and kyle so i'm going to start my story begins about a year and a half ago two years ago and i started watching this guy named joe broadway wrote to the show on machinima then i traced it down to nas fan then i traced it down to sports gaming universe from there i was really inspired because i knew i loved baseball and around the same time i started watching this other let's player called purple rodri he makes pokemon videos um, different let's plays and stuff and I really just I love a lot of different games I love Pokemon I love baseball I love driving games I just I love a lot of different video games I'm not just stuck on sports I'm not just stuck on let's plays I, and from there I just really want to do something for the community just not not necessarily for the community like in those words though I really want to make my own videos and do my own commentaries, you know, and build up from the bottom, you know, star from the bottom. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> Don't um, torture us. No, I won't torture you. And that's where I am now. So I would say the two YouTubers that really inspired me were Nas Fan, which is Sports Gaming Universe, which it was just amazing that he let us post the video on his channel. And uh, that was great. Motherfo16 and b 2 will have shots at the end. Um, someone needs to remind me about that, by the way. And that is what inspired me to start the channel. Other inspirations, Josh K, you can move. Well, for me, uh, I first started looking at uh, YouTube sports uh, videos uh, with uh, Mr. Hurricane. Like I said, I'm a football fan, and he's, in my opinion, he's just great. And he made me think, wow, like he he made me want to do what he did because like I thought it was so cool and so fun and stuff. And uh, when Josh told me that he was starting a channel and he said I could hop on board I was like let's <laughs> go for it and uh, from there I didn't really want to stop very good Kyle well about a, a year about a half about a year and a half ago Josh introduced me to one of Purple Rodri's let's plays and I followed the whole thing although it was long done I really liked it and the commentary was great and that, and once Josh started Juniper Gaming, he was really going for it, and I decided to put my to put a lot of effort into this, and but and without the other YouTubers that inspired us, we wouldn't be the channel we are today. Definitely not. And YouTube's also a big investment. I mean, it's expensive. I mean, you gotta spend your money wisely. And I mean, you may think, oh, Juniper must be like 
you must have like a pot of gold in his closet or something. No, I'm not Irish. Don't worry. Um, no, but it's you gotta save up. I I bought my PS3 with my own money. You gotta. It it takes a lot of work. A lot of it's fun, but a lot of it is hard. Now I'm just gonna throw in my own little question here for everybody. Um, I asked this question to Two Clutch Gaming, and I really um I thought it was a good question. Uh, so. The question is, what is your favorite part about YouTube, and what is your least favorite part about YouTube? Josh, favorite part? My favorite part about YouTube... Um, like being a part of YouTube. Being a part of YouTube. And making videos, you know, stuff like that. I'd say my favorite part is when I look at one of the videos that our uh, channel produces, you see all the com comments, you see people's feedback and stuff, and it makes me think, wow. We are part of something bigger than just me or just you guys, and people actually see us, they uh, notice us, we're contributing to people. We might even be inspiring people to do something that we're doing. So that's a big thing for me. Definitely. Cal, favorite part? The, um, mine is kind of similar to Josh's. It's sometimes when Let's Plays, you can find, you kind of like feel what what the let's player is feeling like you get involved with it like if whether it's a freak out or, <laughs> or rage quit <laughs> or like they finally Derek Lloyd get, getting trolled or they're finally getting something that even you might have had trouble with or um, my point is like getting involved and feeling what let's player might be feeling definitely I'm along the same lines that you are fan interaction seeing comments on the videos Seeing my Twitter feed having like 50 followers or whatever it's at now, seeing that I have 200 subscribers and seeing that people watch my videos when I put effort into them and when Josh puts effort into them and when Cal puts effort into them and the product is just great. The end product is just great. So, you know, I should have done least favorite part first because now we're going to end on a somewhat negative note. Uh, Josh, least favorite part about YouTube? Um, I'd have to say sometimes... Um when when you put out some sort of a, anything on YouTube and you you work your butt off, you sweat, you tear, you well not tear, you know you sweat, you cry, you put all this work into it, and then you see that nobody's seen it. Well, well that makes you think. Well, what's even the point? And then that's the thing for me. That sucks for YouTube. Yeah, go. I think this sums it up. Trollers. Yeah. That's a, that's a that's a ditto here. Um, good trollers that mean to be trollers and bad trollers. The good trollers being, well, uh, the bad trollers as in they mean to troll when they say you suck or your videos are terrible. I mean sometimes they don't mean them, but sometimes it hurts, you know. Yeah, haters kind of count as trollers. Like yeah, haters and trollers. Then there's the good, tr not the no trollers are good though. The trollers that don't mean like to the troll. Like Youngs. No, he, no, no, he, no. That that's a different type. I don't mind that. Um, the type of troller that's like, he asked, do you do a franchise, or you should do this, you should do that. Well, you know what, that means you didn't watch the whole video. If you ask me, can you do a Yankees franchise, then, well, you know what, that's, that's not very good. If you ask me, like, when, um, can you start a road to the show, or you should really change the jersey numbers on the uniforms. If it's mentioned in the video, then it's I don't appreciate it, and that's that's just my least favorite part about YouTube. Though, I think the positive parts about YouTube definitely overshadow it. And uh, with that, we'll end this off with shoutouts here. Um, I will be starting off, I guess, and um, I think I'll cover me and Josh almost. But if Josh, uh, you want to throw anyone else, then that's cool too. Um, first of all, Sports Gaming Universe, thank you very much, just immensely, for allowing us. Okay, I'll just uh, leave for one moment. I think Mom's looking for you. Um, thank you. Um, sorry about that. Just uh, my mom's coming for a moment. Uh, though, I would like to thank Sports Gaming Universe immensely for allowing us to post the video on his channel. Just very uh, glad that you know he allows the community to you know post videos on his channel. Mo the Fo 16 for allowing us to post a video on his channel. Um, Biola Cat too, very uh, good friend of mine now uh, because of YouTube. And um, thank him immensely. He's given me so much help um, going through my Skype contacts so I don't forget anybody. 
Corbin Cox, HGT Sun on uh, 123 on YouTube. Definitely one of our biggest fans, if not the biggest. He is the quote unquote intern, almost like a kind of like a joke, but you know, it's he's been there since the very beginning almost. Um, D Wise, I kind of just uh, met him a few days ago. He's a very nice guy. Definitely um, a good guy. Um, let me look here. Um, definitely Purple Rodri, big inspiration. Um, Jake Elman. Uh, let me see who else. Mr. Best Kept Secrets. Uh, sorry, I just cut a part out there. Um, he was on one of the Talking Baseballs. Um, Orleans Operator, Two Clutch Gaming, The Youngs 15. Um, if I'm forgetting anybody, I really am sorry. Ooh, Ben. Ben Mintek, I am sorry I forgot that. Um, anybody else that I forget, I am really sorry. Um, Josh, shout outs for, uh, that you want to do? Yes. Oh, first and foremost, I would like to give a shout out to you, Josh. Because, I mean, you're kind of, I, I guess you are kind of in charge of the channel. Without you, there's no channel, so I need to give out the shout out to you. I need to give out a shout out to Kyle, because of all the work he does. Though some of his series kind of uh, mess up on him, that's okay. He still tries his hardest, and, he, and they're good series, you know, before they corrupt or whatever happens to them. I need to give out a shout out to him. And also to uh, Nick, who does the Minecraft, shout out to him. He brings a variety to this channel that I think we need. So shout out to everyone there into the channel. That's very uh, a good point there. Thank you. I appreciate that. Also, wait, one more person. I need to give a shout out to me for the comedy on this channel. Okay. <laughs> Kyle, any shout outs? Um, <laughs> not really, except I guess to, to you, Josh L. <laughs> no, Josh can Oh, man. Thank you, guys. Oh, hey, man. I am, I am flattered. Thank you. Although, I do want to thank all those out there who, has, who have been a huge inspiration to me. Yeah, Just definitely. Just an example of that is Purple Audrey. Yeah. And before we end this video, I just want to thank the most important people out there. It's the viewers. It's you guys that make us wake up in the morning, and, and instead of playing some off-screen road to the show or just playing some other game that we're not doing a let's play of we want to get up and we want to go on the computer and we want to edit a video instead of that you guys are the best the best no that's a song um and i just want to see this channel grow more and more and more as um we keep on producing videos um i think we'll have a mini update uh, coming up soon enough and uh look for live streams on youtube instead of um twitch is also which is also very nice Though, um, that is that, guys. Uh, any last words, Josh K? Uh, I can't wait to produce more videos onto this channel, I guess. Cal? Mama Luigi. Mama Luigi. So, thank you for watching, everybody. We really appreciate it. Words can't describe how grateful we are for you guys. Uh, I am Josh L for Kyle. Bye. And Josh K? See you guys later. Alright. See you guys. We're out.